drop pizza sauce on the floor and I don't know what to do about it. It's just sat there. New year, new me. More like new year, no chi. Because I haven't posted since about, you know, the mid mid 40s. <laughs> what am I like? <laughs> anyway, I've missed you so much. I just, you know, I have missed you. I just wish I could have just picked up a camera and filmed something, but <sighs> nothing happens. And I'm just so lazy. And I just get so uninspired and unmotivated. I really don't know what I'm doing. I end up just like filming nothing. It would just be like me talking to the wall. So anyway, I um, I hope I haven't missed much. Um, I'll catch you up on me, um, shall I? Okay, brilliant. I've turned into a porcupine. And when I say that, I mean it's because that I've become nocturnal. I just cannot seem to sleep at normal human hours. Incoming call. Brucey? Powering on. What's going on? Paired. Anyway, I've turned into a porcupine because I can't seem to sleep at normal human hours. I'm nocturnal. I'm now basically just like a full on safari wildlife animal. And literally, like, I'll probably, I'll, you'll probably find me in your local pets at home for, 90, for 9 99 per 100 grams. Because I just, I can't sleep. I cannot sleep at a normal hour, like most people. I'll be up at 4 a.m. like having a scrap with an eyeshadow palette. And I also haven't had any appetite. Like, you just saw like, my pizza on the floor. That's, that's what I've eaten today. I just haven't been able to eat anything because I've had no appetite and I don't know why. Honestly, don't know why. And I really hope that <coughs> habit ends soon because... Otherwise, I will, um, it, I hope it doesn't last long because it's fatal if that continues where I just don't eat or sleep because you kind of need both to, to live. What else happened with me? I put a, um, I put a slit in my eyebrow. Hold on, let me just see. I mean, I put a slit in my eyebrow to make me look more hard. When people see me on the street, they'll think I'm an extra in skins and they'll be like, mm, can't mess with that. No, so they won't like beat me up or anything. Um, I bought a green screen so that I can like be in space sometimes in videos, which I used for my presentation for school. Um, I was gonna use it today, but not gonna lie, I'm just so lazy. That I just thought I'll just use the background I have. I dressed up as a turkey with my friend Callum. Um, we did that on the last day of term. I emailed my teachers a picture of me holding a piece of toast. Other than that, not much has changed, if I'm honest. I'm still, still got no life, no job, no dignity. I'm a bit like a shit m and &M. The one thing I have been doing though that has been quite productive, I've been writing a bit of stand-up. Like, just like really bad jokes. They've not gone down well with the crowd of like two. I wrote one joke about a Coldplay concert and I tell you what, it just, it was just, it just didn't work. It just, I mean, it was mixed reviews on that, I tell you that now. So anyway, I'll tell you the joke just so you've got a big context before I continue. So, I had trouble finding my way to a Coldplay concert the other day. But at the end of the day, nobody said it was easy. It's shit, I know, don't laugh. Um, I told that joke to my mum the other day and um, just to see, you know, if it was genius or not. And she just went, what's this you're on about? When did I give you the bleeding permission to go to a bleeding Coldplay concert? I was just like, look, no, Julie, you've got it all wrong. It's just a lie. I just, I was just writing a joke because I want to be a clown, not an interpreter. Uh, interpreter. 
I don't want to be an interpreter. Interpreter. Entrepreneur. So yeah, tough crowd really. So I might need some um, practice on that um, career career path if I go down that. Um, anyway, um, well I guess let's go on with it. I still can't work out if this camera's been focusing or not. Worms have toes. I got into an argument with a friend about it because um, they, he just suggested, he was like, worms don't have toes. And obviously, he's something wrong with him. Obviously, worms have toes. Just like us, they have feelings, they have a brain, a heart, and they have toes. I know it might not look as obvious that they have toes as it is on us, because like, we do like, pretty obvious have toes. They have them, otherwise they won't be able to walk. He said to him, I went, fine, well if, if, um, if worms don't have toes, then neither do we. If you're gonna be like that. Right, look, hold on. Look right here. You'll see that there is toes. Hold on, let me focus it. Look. There is toes. That is toes. Worms have toes. If you don't think so, then you must be blind. Look right there, they've got toes. Like if you look right here, I've placed some toes on this worm to show you where they are. And I know you're probably thinking, well that just proves to us that worms aren't, don't have toes, G, because you've had to put them on the worm. Well that's wrong, because all I've done is emphasise where their toes are. I haven't just put on toes. That is where their toes will be, and are. But I've emphasised that so you can clearly see better. Because there's some people that just don't understand chemistry nowadays. So I've just emphasised where they are. If worms didn't have toes, how would they get from place to place? Like, yes, yeah, some of them might have had their toes cut off in, like, a worm war. But that's just a crime. And if, and if you are a worm and you cut off another worm's toes, then you'll end up at the magistrate's court pleading guilty of, like, worm homicide. Shout out to all the worms, by the way. Um, I just had to get it off my chest. See you later. Oh, it won't go off. Brilliant. I'm stuck.